Oh, see some light. Okay. Hi, Mel. Welcome, everyone. Let's wait for Brianna to come in. Hopefully, you can see. Just waiting for Brianna, everyone, to come in and join us. <laughs> Here she is. Hello. Hey, Bri. Hi. How are you? Yeah, good, good. Good. How are you? Oh, in the sun, as normal. Good. <laughs> this is so Always strange because we haven't actually spoken so long as well, so I just want to catch up. I know. Well, I, was, I, was... I, I, was, I nearly called you today. I think I did, but then I was quite glad that we didn't actually speak because <laughs> I thought it'd be quite funny. Just go with the flow, really. Yeah, why not? Why not, hey? So, uh, there's a few people on, so welcome to the first <laughs> episode of The Call Room. <laughs> Uh, I have no idea where this is going to go, but it's an exciting time and I'm looking forward to speaking to different athletes. Um, we obviously have Brianna Close here, fantastic uh, butterfly swimmer, um, not so great at breaststroke, but she gave it a go sometimes. Uh, oh God. <laughs> um, but yeah, welcome Brie, welcome to the call room. Thank you for having me, I'm excited. This is such a good yeah, idea. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks Brie. Yeah, no, well I'm looking forward to talking to you about different things about your swimming so this should be an interesting <laughs> episode to start with I'm sure yeah definitely. um so if you want to just introduce yourself a little bit more and just talk about I don't know what what you did with your swimming and what you've done <laughs> since just a quick quick overview of it really god so hi I'm Brie <laughs> I feel like we're at an alcohol, um, Alcoholics Anonymous or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, so for those of you that don't know me, um, I swam mainly 200 metres butterfly. Um, the clubs that I swam at were, God, Bolton Metro, like way back in the day. Then back in Manchester, the day. <laughs> Manchester yep. Aquatics, Stockport. Um, and then I even swam at Loughborough Uni as well, which is where I went to university. Um, so like I said, mainly butterfly, um, dabbled in a little bit of freestyle sometimes as well, but butterfly was my specialist. Um, and then, yeah, I competed to a national and international level. Like I've got so many achievements that I only kind of recognize now that I'm away from swimming. Um, but yeah, quit swimming in second year of university. And since I've just kind of been working out my life without swimming I guess um, haven't we all haven't we all but, but yeah that, that's where I'm up to I'm currently living in London working in recruitment which is yeah different to swimming but it has so many <laughs> parallels as well at the same time yeah. um yeah and I guess that that's a little brief introduction slash excellent <laughs> so um thanks for that you, no, just to add on to that Brie was an absolutely amazing swimmer <laughs> um, and we're lucky to have her today, definitely for the first one. The first question that I'm going to ask each uh, athlete that comes on has got to be, what type of call room athlete are you? Now, before you answer that question, um, I will just give uh, a brief thing of what the call room is. It's actually the ready room just before uh, athletes walk out before a race. They go to the call room. Uh, they get given a time that they need to be there. And it's just, well, it does what it says on the tin. It's the ready room. You go in, you mentally prepare for the race, physically warm up. Um, they check that you're actually there. Um, and then, yeah, it's, it's just the room before you go out, basically. Um, yeah. So, first question, what kind of core room athlete were you? God, I think everyone will have different memories of me. It, dep it completely depends on what the event was and what okay. the meet was as well, because there'll be some core rooms when I could literally be the one that's like laughing and joking. And especially if there's other teammates in the room as well. But yes. then <laughs> if it was kind of an event that I was nervous for and that there was quite a lot of pressure on, you'd see me sat in the corner a million miles away from everyone else, literally right. not speaking. Um, so like I said, completely depends. It's kind of like I was I was complete opposite ends of the spectrum. I was either don't talk to me or everyone's best friend. And it was, yeah. Uh, okay. So you're a mixture <laughs> of... I remember I yeah. remember you being laughing jokey, but I do remember the headphones on, yeah. you know, sort of in the zone, Brie. So, and yeah. normally, as you know, 
athletes with headphones on don't go near them there's no, no. there's no point you've got the athletes like me that was just laughing and joking yeah. um you've got then the headphone like the earphone type people so you you might be able to talk to them you might not yeah but then the headphone think, guys yeah when we were in a relay together as well like <laughs> in the call room we were probably the loudest <laughs> in there <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Feel sorry for, i feel sorry for everyone else that was trying to get in the zone and be serious because <laughs> when we were in there they didn't have a chance. we had a right laugh oh definitely when i when um, i actually finished swimming um in the on the uk scene <laughs> Uh, I think the girls were a bit more, they were more upset that I wasn't going to be in the call room anymore because <laughs> we were just the jokers. I don't know if that's good or not, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. Okay. So thanks for that. Um, we're going to go through some quick fire swimming questions first. Um, so don't think about it. Just whichever one <laughs> naturally comes to you, just go for it. So morning or afternoon training? Morning. Breakfast pre-training or breakfast post-training? post after a hot pool or a cold pool cold pool arena or speedo oh a speedo okay um that was weird i'm gonna put can i answer that one so yeah yeah i feel like i used to race in speedo and then i like all the new arena suits came out like the carbon pro suits and like that kind of era so yeah. I jumped on the arena bandwagon and loved arena so much. And then I think as I got older, and when I say older, like literally like 18, 19, 20, and my body shape started to change, yeah. I I kind of tried, I literally, it was on the off chance that I just tried a Speedo suit again. I don't even know why. I was just like, oh yeah, throw that on. And then from that day, I was like, oh my God, I've not been wearing Speedo this whole time. So I kind oh, of no. <laughs> did like a 360 yeah. i went speedo right. arena speedo but training yeah. suits definitely arena so. oh, okay okay um relay gold or individual bronze oh that's a tricky one relay gold 100 percent. i think yeah yeah i think like that feeling when you, as a collective team especially when it's been a super close relay like that yeah. feeling when you touch and your team's won it's honestly like the most ecstatic electric feeling ever yeah 100 yeah. percent. um just a quick side note i don't know if you've seen but lucy davis just said hey lucy Hi, used lucy. to train with us <laughs> she's just smashing the the workout scene at the minute she's just amazing so the i don't need to queen. tell you to go and follow her but you know um distance or speed what I was good at or what I preferred training <laughs> just what you prefer really um that's a hard one for me I'm gonna say distance I'm a little sad okay. at heart distance um <laughs> pull or kick <laughs> I know which is gonna be I think yours kick 100% kick? Yeah. any day yeah Brianna was, for those that are, that are watching, Brianna was absolutely phenomenal at kick. I can't <laughs> even, if there was an Olympics for kick, she would win gold every time. It was I absolutely wish. ridiculous. Do you remember your 100, 100 metre long course kick, best kick time? Was it fly kick on your back or? God, I think I got down to something silly like a 68, 69 That's... for like 100 kick on my back. I don't even think I could do 100 freestyle in 68 anymore. So let's yeah. not talk about that. Um, I've got weights or circuit training? Circuit training. Um, main stroke, like a, do a, a full session on a main stroke or mix it up like medley session? <laughs> mix it up. I know your, your main stroke was fly, so that's an easy one. And the mix last one is up. racer or trainer. I 100% trainer, 100% was yeah. a trainer, yeah. Did you prefer training or you just were more comfortable training? I think like in hindsight, I wish yeah. I enjoyed racing more. Um, yeah. I also think that though like my training, the way I raced was not reflective of the way I trained at all. Um, yeah. So I think I love training. I love working hard. I love being with my teammates. And I kind of like the no pressure aspect as well. I think when it came to racing, I put a lot of pressure on myself. Like that pressure didn't come from anywhere else. It was literally myself. But that kind of like sapped the enjoyment out of racing for me personally. So I think with that question, yeah, I was definitely a trainer. (laughs) 
Fair enough. Um, I can see Rebecca Guy and Grant going that for who's <laughs> queen of the fly kick. Well, unfortunately, guys, I think Brianna takes the, uh, the, the crown for that one. <laughs> so uh, we've got some we've had some questions come in, which have been great. Um, a few of them were sort of mixed. So I'll just throw them at you and see what we come I'm up scared. with. Um, <laughs> the first one's a nice one. Uh, should be a nice memory. But what is your favourite swimming experience? Oh, God. Um, so if, if the, what's the first thing I suppose that popped up into your head then if anything I don't know <laughs> don't be saying I hated it all <laughs> the PTSD <laughs> <laughs> it's all coming <laughs> oh, retirement no 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 what, uh, <laughs> what's your favourite swimming experience I knew the first episode was going to be like this <laughs> oh my god um my favorite swimming experience oh actually one of my favorite swimming experiences and this is literally a blast from the past but was probably yeah. like uk school games i think it was in like 2011 that was yeah. such a good like <laughs> fun time amazing um, amazing yeah like and aside from that i think generally like most of my fondest memories have to be just training with the teams that i trained with like I was lucky enough to always have amazing teammates and we always had a laugh like no matter who I was with and always cracked on and like the the vibe on the pool side was just electric 90% of the time yeah. so for that I'm yeah. so lucky. Um, I think yeah. with uh, with us in the northwest I, I, you know we had a because when you're younger you sort of obviously you're tied more to your area and in the northwest we had you know God. some some great teammates we, I mean for those who don't know, me and Brianna actually swam at Manchester and Stockport together. And in yeah. both of those, we had some amazing teammates, um, you know, that we were lucky enough to train with. And yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the atmosphere that we had was, was great. And, you know, we trained, we trained hard and, you know, we yeah. raced well and stuff like that. So I think excellent. even like coming back to that point, like on the Northwest point, not only did we have awesome teammates, but we had awesome rivals as well. Like if you yeah. think, I'm literally going back to like I say the good old days but it was when it's like 2011 2012 that kind of time when it was like Northwest Regionals or Lancashire's and that kind of thing like we were lucky enough that we had awesome teams but I don't know there was just something about anyone that was in the Northwest region around them times will probably feel the same that like yeah. the competition and just the general um I don't know the word, but just like the general swimmers that were around mm -hmm. at that time, it was yeah, yeah, second absolutely, to it was amazing. And by no means is this shade to any other area. No. I'm sure, I'm sure you had a great time, but we are cracking time. It was awesome. Northwest uh, is the place to be. It is. Although at UK school games, for some reason, I'm sure we're England Central. Um, yeah. We I don't like think Manchester is anywhere near Central, but we'll take it. Um, yeah. So next question. Um, do you swim anymore? And then in brackets, <laughs> if not, if not, why did you retire? So actually, I do still go for the occasional swim. Um, yeah. Because, quite frankly, I can't run. <laughs> I hate running. <laughs> so <laughs> my, my preferred cardio, I think, it is swimming and will always be swimming. Um, I've just realised yeah. I'm shouting really loud as well. So my neighbours are probably like, what the hell <laughs> That's all right. Doing? Everyone around can have a good time as well. <laughs> um, but yeah, so... I do still go for like the odd swim, but it's literally when I'm in the mood for, there's no competition involved, no pressure involved. I literally just get in, swim up and down, do whatever I want really. Um, so yeah, do I have to link that into why I retired as well or? Uh, well, there's just, people wanted to know why you did finish, if you did. Okay. No, some people okay. didn't know if you had or not. Um, yeah. You don't have to go into it obviously, but. Yeah. Know, yeah. yeah. To you. Well, I think, yeah, I do still swim, but definitely not competitively, yeah. like the furthest yeah. away from competitive. And yeah, I think yeah, when yeah. I retired, when I retired as well, um, I did have like a massive chunk of time where I detested anything to do with the water and swimming. I was like, no, I'm not going yeah. near it. Um, with regards to like my retirement and why I decided to quit, it was a combination of things. And I think being an athlete who has retired, you will know when your time comes and you can't describe it to anyone. It's just like a feeling. Um, I just knew that I was done. Like I was turning up to training and I just had nothing to give. Like, like Lauren said, 
so like, I'm so grateful for you like singing my praises but I was a hard trainer like every time I turned up to that training session I gave it 110 percent and it was actually after Commonwealth Games trials so my goal was to make Commonwealth Games and I think for a long time I was ashamed to say that but that was my goal that's what I'd been working towards that's what for the first time in a long time I believed that I was capable of and I think when I touched the wall and looked up and my time I didn't swim badly I didn't swim like it wasn't awful but it wasn't what I wanted or what I expected I think when I touched the wall it was kind of like oh and I didn't prepare for that afterwards I didn't have a goal that I yeah. wanted to achieve after that it was kind of just like a what now but then anyone that's in swimming or any athlete even will know that kind of like you're in habit in a habitual routine and it was kind of like after that meet I got straight back in well I had like a week or two off but then got straight back in the pool near enough was turning up to training and I was just like what why am I here like I was slowly drifting to the back of the lane and anyone that knows me and was a part of my swimming career knows that I was always at the front I was drifting towards the back of the lane and I was in second year of university at the time and it was kind of the point where university work was starting to get harder as well and that was always in the back of my mind I, I'm quite lucky that I've always been naturally academic so for me I could always swim and do the academia bit on yeah. the side and it was kind of just like a crossroads where it was like do I keep swimming and not underperforming but kind of be there or thereabouts or do I really push on and pursue something that's gonna potentially shape my future um right. and that's different for everyone but for me it was kind of like I've got nothing left to give so I'm just gonna leave it there yeah. but yeah so that, that's why I retired no. <laughs> yeah well there's a couple of points there that you've picked up on that I think there'll be a lot of people that can relate to that definitely and you definitely know when your time's up and the thing is I say when your time's up as if you die and don't you know it's not a, <laughs> it's not a death I'm, you just stop getting the pool that's it um yeah. but yeah no I think I think definitely people can relate to what you've just said um, and a lot of swimmers don't, well I don't know about all the other athletes but a lot of swimmers don't plan so they have the, they always have trials or they always have nationals or they always have whatever and then yeah. when you've done that whether you do well or not and you go to the next meet or whatever there's a point where you only plan up to so far and then after that is there's not really a plan after life yeah. after swimming for a lot of people and it's 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 normal a lot of people do it I did it but it's it and I'm, I'm trying to um when I speak to people I try to make sure that they have a plan afterwards yeah um, because it, can it, be hits, a bit it takes you by surprise it takes you by yeah. complete surprise but I think as well like even though it is good to have a plan it's completely normal and natural to not because not to have one yeah you can wake up like mine wasn't a plan like I literally woke up and it was more of a, a gradual decision if that makes sense um yeah. so I didn't intend on quitting swimming like I planned on well definitely going to the end of the season at least but it was just kind yeah. of this like overwhelming feeling of a mixture of like emotions and different things and I, I was just like I'm, I'm done um yeah. and I, I definitely didn't have a plan I think having something to fall back on is good but at the same time like it's not the be all and end all if you don't because you will find your way definitely yeah of course yeah everyone does um but yeah it can be a scary thing so I think you know anyone yeah. that's watching that's either going through it or about to go through it or whatever you know it's you're definitely not on your own with that one yeah. um okay let's lighten the mood a bit um <laughs> so <laughs> we have um we've touched on it already but we got oh well you got asked the question of how important it is to have a supportive and motivating teammates around you Mm -hmm. um I know we touched on that um so we don't need to stay on that one but God. do you want to just give a brief like how awesome I was as a teammate <laughs> <laughs> we honestly I think like me and Lauren especially but I think swimming is such a unique sport in the sense that it's so individualized and what you do and what you get out of it essentially yeah it's all on you but I think the environment that you're in and the team and the people that you surround yourself with definitely make or break your individual performance and that sounds silly but I think the people that you surround yourself with is so important and positivity breeds positivity and success breeds success so when you're in a successful environment you step up to the mark and you want to succeed and I think yeah it's just electric and but there's so many times as well when like Lauren will know 
you can turn up to training and literally have the worst session and it's also making sure that you've got that supportive family almost network around you that will pick you up and allow you to like move on from it and just I don't know just keep pushing on really because swimming's a bloody tough sport (laughs) like some of the things that we put ourselves through and have to go through is awful so your teammates are essentially a family they see you at the worst they see you at your best and you spend more time with them than you do your own family members so yeah yeah (laughs) yeah does that answer Um, the question (laughs) yeah of course it was great um there is no wrong answer here Brie this is just this is all good um so I've got a I got a question here and it's from someone in particular but I'm not going to say who because I'm not gonna I don't want it to be biased but who is the best fly swimmer you have ever trained with best fly swimmer oh God. And when we come off this live, I'll tell you who it was. But Best fly swimmer I've ever trained with. My mind's just gone blank. Did I train with a fly swimmer? <laughs> well, you must have done because they messaged in hoping that you're going to pick them, but you're not doing very well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Best fly swimmer I've ever trained with. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to think who would have said it. <laughs> who would have said it? it? Wasn't Grant, was it? <laughs> it wasn't Grant, and he definitely wasn't a fly to it. Let's put it that way. We both know that. Oh God, best swimmer I've ever trained with. Right, who did I train with? God, I'll let you. I'll let that one brew in your brain. Yeah, come back to me with that we'll one. Move on. Does it have to yeah, be? All right. Does it have to be the same sex, or can it be? Can it be? So it can well. be anyone. It can be anyone. Come back to Best me. Best fly swimmer that you take. <laughs> Come back to me. Right, okay. Grant, uh, Grant just quest- sent in a question. He said, what's the worst punishment set you ever did? Oh, God. Oh, God. Where do I begin? Let me get my... Now, own. I remember, right, <laughs> at Manchester, at Manchester, I think... Now, all the Manchester guys who came on this trip, if anyone of them are watching, I don't know. But I think it was... Did we do Tora Molina or something like that? I don't think I was on that camp, but I've heard the oh, stories maybe. of that camp. The Halloween. <laughs> no, oh, that was yeah. um, that was ten. That was was that Tenerife? Oh no, I think it was. Were you there on Halloween? Where we was that where the clocks went forward and we all moved down? The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so for anyone watching who doesn't know this story, uh, just a quick oh, brief one. Uh, we were we were there as two groups. So we were there as. Um, the top group, which was us guys, and then we were there as the, the group below who were the younger guys. And um, it was Halloween the next day, so we thought, we've got to scare the younger guys. But the clocks went forward or back or something. Which anyway, we all changed going? our clocks on our phones <laughs> to whatever it was supposed to be, not realising that actually um, the, cl- the phone anyway. does it for you anyway. <laughs> so we were two hours late. We turned up and hid in the bushes outside of the pool with water balloons. And uh, and we were there for about half an hour, like, where's the other squad? We were like... Anyway, in the end, we were like, there's something something not right here. So we went on to poolside, um, and the other group were in training. They'd done an hour and a half. Mark Rose was our coach at the time, and he was livid. So he made us train for... I did our punishment set. I can't remember what it was, but it was worth it, because it was absolutely hilarious. (laughs) <laughs> we were all in masks no. as well we were loaded with water balloons and we were all in masks oh God. and I think there was one there was one girl in the squad that wasn't like involved in like yes yes plan. and she yes. was and she was swimming up and down yeah on her own oh, oh god, god. Um, oh, that was that funny was... <laughs> that was so funny god yeah but I think but with my like uh, can you call them a punishment? Because I think some of my hardest sets have just been thrown at me, like not without yeah, a punishment. Yeah. God, yeah. I've done a hundred hundreds off one fifteen before. Every yeah. tenth, every tenth one fly. Fly. Sean I was going to bring that one up. Yeah, that. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Growing up, literally, like I don't even know how I used to do it, but a regular set for me was like ten three hundreds fly, and that was just like a regular thing. I think I did ten four hundreds fly at one point um but yeah that was probably the 100 hundreds off 115 is probably up there yeah, with one of my I remember proudest that achievements one. that was brutal um because yeah. i did it literally i made it all and i don't like yeah. how <laughs> but um yeah 
I can't yeah. even do 50 for 115 now, never mind. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that set was probably the toughest one, 100%. Yeah, no, yeah. that was a that was a good one. I remember that one. Uh, I remember you taking your goggles off and thinking, are they tears or, or is that water just from the bottom? Oh. But you did it, so. Um, okay, so uh, someone someone actually messaged Jimbry and said, one of the best fly swimmers they've ever seen. Oh, uh, swim. Um, and then they asked what you might not want to do this one but what are a good (laughs) what are a good couple of stretches for fly swimmers so if you just give two I don't know I don't know know if I've shaved my armpits or not (laughs) (laughs) all right well I'm joking well (laughs) so one of my favorite ones for fly like you might need a partner or a wall and whoever god i'm gonna stand up i might have to kneel down so i'm at the right eye level but okay. basically put your arms like interlock them behind and yeah. then i used to like just like slowly raise my arms up okay and then yeah. sometimes like bend over and stretch my shoulders so oh, yeah, yeah yeah that was i've never seen you do that actually fly. yeah that yeah. i really liked yeah. that one um yeah. God, what else did I used to do? That was a favourite. I swear um, you used to do um, um, on the pull up bar hanging and stuff. Yeah, lats, yeah stretching out your lats. Um, yeah. So like either holding on something and pulling or like hanging on a, a bar and like just wriggling and feeling that stretch down your lats. That was a great one. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'd probably say them too. Thank you. I won't ask you breaststroke stretches. We'll leave that on. Um, yeah. <laughs> Don't come to me for now, breaststroke advice. <laughs> or me. Um, so, uh, morning training. Were you a fan or did you struggle to get up in the morning? I think this... Yeah, that just I went think... off there. Yeah, sorry. I think this comes down to like the team and the environment that you're like around. I weirdly like enjoyed morning training because once I was up, I was up. And like, I think I was one of the chirpier ones in the morning as well. Um, So yeah, (laughs) yeah. And I think like there were times in my career as well, like say, I know that I trained like on a Wednesday morning and then got had the rest of the day off. And I think I'd much rather train in the morning and have the rest yeah. of the day to do what I want, then have yeah. to come in at the afternoon. Like, yeah. So, and, and the, so, how many alarms were you? Just one alarm, or were you one of those that was like fifty alarms? <gasps> I had to set a few alarms. There were a good few times <laughs> where I, I, <laughs> I just completely slept through my alarm. I think I, oh, this no. is really bad. I went through a period of time because I savored. Well, I loved the thought of sleeping and I'm actually reading why we sleep at the moment so I know that this is I'm, so bad for I'm me. about to read it yeah however I actually went through a really weird phase where I loved so say I had to be up at half four to go training I loved setting my alarm at half two so that I could wake up and see that I had two more hours of sleep and I'd be like oh thank god and I'd go back to sleep for two hours <laughs> Any anyone watching? Don't, oh, don't try don't this at do home. That. Don't do that. That's such a bad idea. Don't do that. And there was a point I was well, like I remember once like t- trying for a bit, going to sleep in my swimming costume to maximize maximize the length of time that I could be asleep in the morning. So that I'd literally just wake up. I think it was when I was training at Stockport, so I could literally just wake up in my pajamas, get straight into my car and drive to training. Um, oh, but yeah, I was definitely a good few alarms. I wasn't like one well, alarm up. It was a good few. I know. Well, I know. I know. I've just said don't try this at home. But there's a few people here that are saying this is brilliant. <laughs> Hannah, thanks. Don't start that. Uh, Scarlett's laughing as well. well that's, that must be a funny story for everyone. I can't imagine anything worse. Yeah. Um, Tried all so, <laughs> I don't want to know. We'll no. save that for another episode. <laughs> If the people like you, we'll get you back. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we've got here, biggest swimming regret. Okay, this is quite an easy one. And I think this is only something okay. that I've recognised in hindsight and like looking back re- retrospectively. But my biggest yeah. regret is fully like not believing in myself and not giving myself enough credit and appreciation for how good I actually was. Because I think yeah. like when I was actually swimming... I didn't believe in myself like no matter how hard I trained and everything that I did in training I was always doubting myself and I was always like I don't I don't know and then even when I did so well and say like 
in the past when I was like national champion or went to like world junior yeah. games and like various world school games and various different things and Commonwealth game trials. It was always just like another thing and I think it touches on what you said earlier how like with swimming you always it, well any sport you're always looking towards the next goal and the next goal and the next yeah. goal so whenever I did something well or like achieved something that I was proud of it was yeah. kind of just like overlooked and brushed past by myself because it was like right what yeah. next on to um, the next thing yeah so I wish that I'd if if I could go back I'd be like I wouldn't be cocky with it, but I'd be like, yeah, you've got this. Like, <laughs> you, are, you are so much better than you think you are because yeah, yeah. I, I really struggle with my confidence as a swimmer. And I think yeah. that if people have been on from the start, like, that's why I prefer training as opposed to racing. Yeah just because I yeah. lacked confidence. <laughs> but yeah, that's You were, thing. you, well, whenever um, you pop up anywhere um, since, well, through the whole swimming career, um, for me personally, whenever Brianna came up or the name or whatever, it was such a hard trainer, such a phenomenal trainer, <laughs> um, and great to train with. Apart from in the warm ups when you bloody sprint everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Be however, everyone however, in warm up. <laughs> however, I wouldn't change that for the world because you, you know, that was you, and oh, we all loved it really. You. As much as we said it, you know, we loved it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, no, phenomenal trainer. I used to kick yeah, off. Yeah. If you got if you got me in a bad mood and you told me off for sprinting warm up, you'd get an earful. I think. <laughs> oh, yeah, but and we all loved it. <laughs> it, make, it makes the whole journey for everyone, you know these little things. Yeah. Um. So I've got oh I got a question in today actually. This was a good one. Uh, how do you deal with pressure and pre race nerves? So did you have a way of dealing with that? I'm literally the worst person to ask for this. <laughs> no, well, I no, went on... because you race well, you know. So yeah, you must have yeah. dealt with it in a way. I went on such a journey, and I think depending on the point in my career is dependent on the answer. Like when I used to get nervous when I was younger, my way of dealing with that was literally going to my parents, offloading everything. So any worry, any doubt that was in my head, I'd literally just literally go yeah. and sit with them, spew everything out like not not physic not physically but I'd literally just be like <laughs> I'm really nervous what do I do all it is is full length butterfly how do I even swim butterfly what if I do a full start or everything just came out um, and that was my way of dealing with it then but I think you've got to find what works for you like as I got older yeah. it was very much just like deep breaths staying calm and for me it was literally thinking back to those hard training sessions and the times when yeah. I'd smashed it and it had been like well I did 10 300s fly so four lengths of this pool's nothing um and it's kind of like that's what worked for me in dealing with nerves but you have got to find what works for you like it whether that's surrounding yourself with your teammates and going chatting to them to take your mind off it or whether it's being yeah. within your own head and just calming yourself down so yeah everyone has their own way and it's ha it's fine do, yeah. to switch between it all as well because I like I said earlier yeah. in the call room sometimes I was distracting Head myself phones. and sometimes I yeah. was like don't talk to me so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay no great <laughs> answer um it's definitely personal it's definitely a personal choice isn't yeah it? and stuff like that and it's hard yeah. to deal with it's hard to deal with you know yeah um the uh another question here I have is uh, and I'm guessing this is this would be good for the younger guys if you could go back and you've sort of just touched on it now with your regret but if you have what if you could give yourself one tip when you were younger um other than what you just said a minute ago um do you have anything really or anything for the up-and-coming guys that you know have got the whole journey ahead of them enjoy it I don't know if you're frozen or no 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 I was, I'm pondering <laughs> pondering in thought <laughs> um enjoy every moment like yeah definitely I, then probably younger swimmers that are watching this if they are and thinking god is that it but like genuinely enjoy it as much as you can and even yeah. the lows like enjoy them because you're not doing it forever and it goes like that like I can't believe yeah. I, I just don't know where my swimming career went like it it's gone so quickly so I'd say definitely enjoy it and have no regrets so like every training session every gym session or whatever it is that you do do yourself proud like if you're like slacking and just like oh I don't care whatever 
you need to ask yourself why you're doing it like go in there yeah. try your hardest and and leave nothing in the pool have, have no regrets and if your teammates are making fun of you for trying then you need to reflect on whether they're actually want what's best for you so yeah 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 i think that's it. and also <laughs> if they are if they are laughing at you or whatever for trying then they, they won't be laughing when it comes to race time anyway they won't so. be laughing when you beat them so <laughs> <laughs> exactly you can do your talking in the pool that's why i always got told yeah i um, got told that as well excellent excellent answer um so i have one i have one last question here um, but I want that to be the last one. Um, so just quickly, the best fly swimmer you've ever trained with? <laughs> <laughs> Have you thought what? of anyone yet? There's going to be so many fly teammates yeah. that you've had. Like, this is Everyone, an insult. Everyone's going to message me and be just like, do you remember that you trained with me? And I, honestly, no, I'm, 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 I think, I I'm glad that I wasn't on. a fly swimmer. <laughs> In my head, it's just like me, myself and I. I didn't train with any other fly swimmers. What are you going on about? It was just me. <laughs> um, well... I think I'm going to say now this yeah. is purely based off like what we went through together and like yeah. built ourselves up and the dynamic that we had. Yeah. No offense to if this isn't the person that messaged in, I am so sorry. But the person that I'd loved genuinely love training fly with the most was Charlotte Atkinson. Like we pushed ah. each other and we were constantly like, there was no, it was like me, her, me, her, me, her. It was so competitive and it was so good to train with. But then as soon as we touched that, like when we were racing, not racing, but like when we were training, we were rivals. But then as soon as we touched the wall, we were like, yeah, keep going. Like we were best friends, but rivals at the same time. And I think That's that amazing. dynamic was something that I'd never really had before with other fly swimmers. Right. Um, yeah not that I can consciously remember anyway, but yeah, we, we trained really well together. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I can confirm that wasn't the person, so you've just insulted someone big time. <laughs> I'll leave. Bye. Um, See you next week, guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, but no, that was a great answer. And Charlotte Atkinson, what an athlete, my Lord. Yeah. Uh, you know, great. And you two as a team, just great to train with, I can imagine. Yeah. Um, but no, that's, that's brilliant. Um, can I ask who my it was? Final... Can I ask I'll tell you else? after the live because I don't want to name and shame. Clearly, they weren't worthy of uh, saying on the live. Oh, um, You're gonna tell me, and I'm gonna be like, sugar. <laughs> it's not anyone that I trained with, Did so it's mean? someone outside of the brackets that we trained together. But I will tell you after the live. Stream. I know. I think I know who it is. I'm not gonna say it, but I think I know who it okay, is. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's that's all the the serious questions. The final question that I have for you, Brie. Yeah. And don't be too nervous. But <laughs> do swimmers, in brackets, did you or do you pee in the pool? Oh, a hundred percent. Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. Jesus. I think fifty percent of the pool water was probably from me. To be quite honest. With you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh, that's, dear, that was disgusting. But I think. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Comment. I think if, if personally, if I was getting out yeah. every time that I needed the toilet, I'd have missed some key points in the session. And I think it's just like, it, it's, it's a, yeah, you've just got to wait up. Like, Look, it will happens. My coach, will my coach shout at me for asking that for saying I need a wee for the twentieth time, or shall I just get on exactly. with it? Exactly. Um, you just get yeah. on with it. I think you just get on with it. Unless you need to have a chat. <laughs> or you need to go for a shower at Manchester and sneak in for a warm one. Yeah. Unless I go, for a <laughs> unless I go for a tactical wee, where it's a tactical like, wee. I purposely want to miss something, and I'm like, you should never do that. Younger swimmers don't do that. No, never, I was just going to say, never I'm go not for sure a tactical that, wee. No, no, no. Well, it's not. It's not worth it. <laughs> I never um, went for a tactical wee before. I think we did a competition at Manchester once, and the lad, well, it wasn't us, it was the lads. I'm so worried. Saying, Hold on. Who, I'm no, so no. worried what's going to come out of here. I'm pretty sure the lads did a competition at one point who could go to the toilet for the longest. And probably. Yeah, <laughs> I think it was. Some probably. Of the scores were awful. But, like, Ugh. younger swimmers, don't, don't play that game. Don't, don't do it. Don't it's do worth it. training hard. <laughs> If you need a wee, you should probably get out, but also don't, because <laughs> real swimmers don't. Um, yeah, well, oh. I, the reason that, one of the reasons I asked that question was I've trained with a, 
a couple of triathletes now and a couple of them are just they're like no way do you think the yeah. pool that's so weird and disgusting I'm like you need to get into a swimmer's brain because there's no such thing as going to the toilet unless you need a number two then please go swimmers God. please go I remember trying to but, train um, myself for different strokes like to be able to do it and not just front crawl <laughs> Do you do you remember um, someone buying a, a toffee crisp from the the vending machine and throwing it in the pool, hoping, in the pool. That, <laughs> hoping that, then, uh, that uh, our coach wouldn't let us in because there was a poo in the pool? <laughs> At Bolton, though, that legit happened. Like to the point Did it where work? they were like, "No, go home, poo in the pool." <laughs> and I think it, I think it was a best one pound never spent. It, it was a Mars bar. <laughs> oh God. Oh, the God. things that we used to do. I say we, it wasn't us, but... But then yeah, I'm pretty sure there was times us. when there was poo in the pool and we still had to oh, yeah, really sure. through it. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Oh, wasn't, yeah. Wasn't mine, wasn't mine. I always got out it wasn't. to go to the toilet. No, <laughs> no, you should always get out to go for a second one. If you need number um, two, please just get out. <laughs> <laughs> if you need number two, please go to the list. Um <laughs> Right. I think that's that's all the questions I've got. Um, if anyone's got a question, please send it in now. Otherwise, we will wrap it up. Um, oh. But no, just huge thanks, Brie. Um, I've got Hannah here Thank saying you. that's what they all say. <laughs> we do all. I'm not even going to start with that one. Um, but yes, no, that's that was amazing. It was so nice just for me to talk to you. I, I, I hope other people enjoyed it, but I really enjoyed it. Uh, it's nice to amazing. open up and have some funny times remembered. And also... Yeah learn a couple of nuggets there for some people so that was great <laughs> yeah um but yeah like once no, we thanks, get going thanks, once yeah. we get going we could literally be on this live for hours this could go so. on forever i know i know <laughs> and, and i feel like the people probably don't want to see us chat for hours as much <laughs> no. as i do uh georgia homan that was fab cheers thanks oh, thanks, georgia. thanks georgia you will definitely have to come on at some point 100%. Um, another amazing backstroker who I got the pleasure of racing and was beat by <laughs> many a time. Um, but everyone that's that's commented, thanks so much. It means oh, a lot that you watched Lauren. it. Um, and I'll yeah, I'll speak to you soon, Brie. Yeah, you will definitely. Thanks so much for that. Thank, Thank you, you so oh. much for having me. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Try to get rid of you. <laughs> Something had to go wrong. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, technical difficulties. We've not even oh. been live. <laughs> imagine <laughs> right all right i'll speak to you soon anyway and thanks everyone for watching thank you bye, bye guys thank you